Time for story time with Eric. Our topic today, sex. <laughs> Hello. Today we're going to be reading this fabulous book called A Little Black Book. Black. <laughs> black. <laughs> Dear Christ. Sex secrets. Okay, children, you've all seen uh, the book. <clears throat> if you haven't picked up a copy, uh, 1999. It's worth it. Orgasm to your heart's content. Keep your heart happy and reduce the risk of heart attacks. A 2001 study found. Okay, that's fucking gay. <laughs> okay, we read this before. This is great. It's not a sprint. Okay, fucking John. All right, listen, it's not a fucking sprint. It's a marathon. All right. So when you guys are all like, oh! okay, take it fucking slow, dude. Okay. Yeah, thing. Okay. So, yep. Uh, <clears throat> You, uh, maybe, uh, you know, ready to get up and flash at the bare leg, but, Jesus Christ, slow the fuck down, okay? <laughs> Your lady takes a lot longer to arouse, all right? And I mean, mm. According to one study, on an average, foreplay lasts 12 minutes, even though she'd like it to last 18 minutes. I don't, I don't understand that, but I mean, it's like, okay, fucking six-minute difference, get over it. Uh... Step on your sexual brakes and slow down, okay? So you gotta just do my ideas. Okay. Actually, that would be the acceleration pedal. Uh, and you'll both be grateful, you know? Uh, a good ratio for every half hour of sex, at least 20 minutes should be put in the foreplay, and 10 minutes should be intercourse. You're not reading it like you were before. You know what? Cameraman? <laughs> You want to read the fucking book? Hmm? Are you even recording right now? <laughs> okay, I'll take that as a yes because he's being a cock munch. <laughs> the guy who's recording this is a cock munch. I'm a cock munch. It's not that, you, that she doesn't want sex, it's that she doesn't find it desirable. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I don't know, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Just the. the, the, the and of course. Um, you think that she's hot, but, uh, you love her breasts, um, you love her legs, uh, you love the curves of her hips and silkiness of her hair, but, um, unfortunately, you know, most women, uh, they don't love their bodies as fast as, uh, as much as we do. Which I find that disgusting, I mean, most of these women are in the crowd, you know. Love your fucking bodies. Love them! Jesus Christ, people! What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, Jason, love your body. You have you have marvelous tits. I'll okay. I'll never be as sexy as I want to be. Oh, Jason, I've seen the videos online. You're perfect. Okay, you have a banging body, Come and on, you your strip club material. Get up there. Come on. Slide up and down that pole. Yes. Yeah, oh snow. baby. Just snow. like you slid up and down that. Let's go back to the story. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, we've also read this one before. Okay, women, uh, your body is not a triangle, okay? I don't know where... It doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, well, duh, it's not a fucking triangle. This book sucks sometimes. Oh, shit! Lost my page. Okay. Okay, uh... Okay, uh... The end of the dry season. You may enjoy your... Fuck that word, dry. But that doesn't mean that's how you like your vagina. Uh, get some water-based lube at the local drunk store and start slathering that fucker on. <laughs> Just because the lower estrogen level in your body may have left you with a JJ feeling like a desert, there's no reason not to be on your very own Rainmaker. They say the weirdest shit in this book. <laughs> they don't call them... Mounties? Okay, here, show this, because I'm not going to fucking read that. I don't even know what the hell... Mounties? <laughs> Aren't those those They don't Canadian call them guys? Mounties for nothing, according to a Canadian survey. <coughs> survey, a majority... <laughs> fucking shut up, you diarrhea muncher! <laughs> a majority of folks between 65 and 74 consider themselves sexually active. So old guys like to fuck like crazy. <laughs> Only one quarter of their respondents hadn't had any sexual activity in the past year. We're talking about sex and drugs and old people. 
Fuck yes! Old, this is my kind of room. Old people sex. Oh, fuck that then. <laughs> <laughs> and turtles. Oh, fuck yeah. You gotta love the turtles. The turtle and shiz. Penis envy? <laughs> Sometimes a girl just has to be, uh, to thank their lucky stars she's human. Otherwise, she might be on the receiving end. <laughs> On some receiving end of downright bizarre penises. <laughs> Big penises are corkscrew shaped. That's that weird corkscrew shape, you know. Oh my god. Wooly Lemire penises have claws. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and certain beetle penises open like an umbrella once inserted. So that's like. Hey, hey, who's cell phone? Who's horny? <laughs> Damn, Eric, you're good. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Eric. Story My name's Eric, too. Right. Story time was interrupted. Yeah, it's story time test. was interrupted. Okay. Mm. Okay. I just want to cry now. Bye. Story Don't time. Fuck you! Who interrupted it? Well, that was my dad. He's on his way. Why? Is he picking you up already? I'm a good note. Who's horny? Shut up! I'm <laughs> ending this, okay? I need to end it right after this, okay? Just listen. <laughs> okay. Uh, beetle penises open up like an umbrella once it's inserted, so that's like. <laughs> <laughs> so small penises like penises. Yeah. <laughs> Why? That's cute. Ow. Ow. There will be no. Her penis opens like an umbrella. There will what the be fuck? no. Yeah. Wait, wait, Brandy. Your penis does? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Right. <laughs> insane. Back to the book, Jesus Christ! <laughs> While not all animals have a scary appendage, they do have the stand out from the crowd whenever possible. Alright, you know what? This book is done. You want me to end it on this? In a world where sex is so intertwined with the love and compassion of one another, fuck. Because it just, I don't know. Just <laughs> shut up. If you don't read this book, goddammit, you're not gonna know. Yeah. <laughs>